Hi, I'm Chris Kuyper in the Fox 26 Weather Center, and it's been about a week and a half since we had Hurricane Eric make landfall in Mexico and cause about $200 million worth of damage after it made landfall in the Mexican state of Oaxaca. We have a new tropical system to talk about, Flossie, which formed and became a tropical storm on Sunday, about the middle part of the day there or so, moves northward slowly throughout the day, and then it became a hurricane there. It looks like Monday evening, a little after 9 o'clock in the evening. Now the next question is, where is Flossie going? Is it going to make another landfall? fall like Eric did and cause a lot of damage. This one looks to be a little different as we get forward in time here towards Wednesday morning. It's getting strength there. No, it's has a uh, notice. It has wind speeds of about 110 miles an hour at that time, but that looks to be the peak of strength with Hurricane Flossie. And by the time we get towards about 4th of July here, it's going to weaken back to a tropical depression there off the coastline of Cabo San Lucas. And then we go towards the 5th of July and it pretty much dissipates off the coastline of Baja, Mexico. Never makes landfall in Mexico, thankfully. Probably will cause a bunch of rain near the coastline and kick up the surf a little bit, but not making any kind of direct landfall, which is great news for Mexico. We may see some of this moisture try to sneak northward into California early next week and could spark some thunderstorms in the mountains. We'll worry about that next week, but for the time being, it looks like Flossie will be staying off the coastline of Mexico and not making any kind of landfall.